Now that we've won that fight, uh, we've got to ensure that those, those barriers and those fights and those hurdles aren't there for any other family. And uh, that's really what it's all about, uh, getting services and programs to children. In September this past year, the Assembly of First Nations hosted a national uh, gathering, you know, related to Jordan's principle. And uh, it was very powerful and very moving because uh, a lot of the families demonstrate a lot of courage and strength for, for coming up and sharing their stories, uh, sharing their teachings, sharing their wisdom, sharing their life experiences about what they went through in trying to look after their little ones. Together we did a really awesome, powerful submission. And the commissioners <laughs> sided with us and they referred our case to the tribunal. It really is a teaching moment to all levels of government uh, to listen and to witness and to bear witness to some of the uh, challenges that these families uh, faced. One of the most important rights we have is the right to self-determination as Indigenous peoples. All we ever wanted was what they would be entitled to if we weren't Indigenous and didn't live off reserve. That's all. Just the same services that are available to other children. That's all. We weren't asking, we never asked for anything special. We never asked for anything more than what we would have gotten if we lived off reserve. Like with Noah, all we ever wanted was for him to ride a bus to school like other kids. That's all. I don't think parents and families should be burdened with their fiscal year. That's when I think there's some systemic issues in terms of how the government um, communicate with families. Inter you know, for example, the burden. I don't think we should be burdened with their fiscal year, which is March 31st, because my kids' disability and their needs do not end March 31st. We know the needs. You know, people know the needs in their families. People know the needs in their communities in their First Nations. And who better else than to meet those needs than the people that are there on the ground? You're going to have a more effective and efficient utilization of resources. You're going to have better success, better results. And if it hadn't been for uh, Jordan's principle, I have no idea where we would be today. I know my boys wouldn't be as happy and productive and um, looking forward to the future. It's time again that provincial and federal governments recognize there's another jurisdiction that should be recognized, First Nations jurisdiction. And, uh, and there's room and space in Canada for that to happen.